It's time for a change. Uh, we, all of us, have a very clear mandate to think differently about human health. When two-thirds of the American public are concerned about their human health, it is very clear we need to act and behave differently. We need to come together, industry, government, medical, all of us working together to find better solutions to safeguard human health and well-being. Two-thirds is not enough. It should be 100% of people should be concerned. Be concerned. <laughs> we are talking about the life on our planet. We are talking about interfering with hundreds of millions of years of biological evolution and destroying uh, the ecosystem in a few years. Uh, we are also looking at something very insane right now. You know, hundreds of billions of dollars are spent on medical research for things like cancer, um, degenerative disorders, Alzheimer's disease. Uh, the fact is that those hormonal disruptions and steroidal disruptions occur because we are also interfering with uh, genetic activity. We've become the predator on this planet. We're destroying all of life and we're risking our own extinction. This is a very big issue. It's not just about plant-derived um, products is mm -hmm. going to improve our health. This is a question of life on our planet right now. Mm -hmm. People need to hear about this because if they know about this, it would be insane mm -hmm. to continue to use petrochemicals. And of course, you know, seventh generation is the pioneer in this, but I think if companies don't follow, they're going to have to face legal problems in the future. When people discovered that cigarette smoking can cause lung cancer, there were lawsuits. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. Petrochemicals come from petroleum and more than half of every gallon of petroleum that's produced is not used to make gasoline. So our concern with petrochemicals are that it is multiple doses over and over, day after day, with 20 or 30 products a day that we use, and that the impact is, as Deepak said, obviously the inflammatory process is provoked, the hormone system is disrupted, and our body is doing all it can to respond. And our breasts wind up being the toxic dump site of these chemicals. I mean, it's the kind of thing where not thinking consciously about what happens to human health, what happens with the disposal of these things, how we're recycling and upcycling these products and these chemicals and over and over. And there's not anyone saying we have to hold that responsibility. Inflammation now, we know actually, is the underlying factor in many ca cancers, in many autoimmune illnesses, in those who are susceptible to infection and degenerative disorders. There's not a single um, illness that doesn't have inflammation as a background. And we're introducing literally an in inflammation into the body an inflamed body and inflamed mind. They go together too, by the way. Mm -hmm. And so when we introduce these agents in our bodies, you're basically creating war on the body. And you're also destroying the ecosystem because we are recycling with the ecosystem. We need to look at every aspect of social well-being and physical well-being, where we can all participate globally in this conversation so we change the collective mindset. When a critical mass of people are aware of something and change their behavior, the entire world changes. Everybody has to be an early adopter right this moment.